So today we're going to be doing the Bichon makeover. Um, we're going to do a traditional Bichon trim. And I was supplied with this really great specimen of a dog. She's extremely overgrown. Um, and I'm going to hand scissor everything just to kind of show you how we can do that. So Bichons are not like poodles, okay? They're a more moderate uh, trim. They're not as, um, as many um, contours and um, they're not quite as elegant. They're a little bit of a sturdier breed. They're in the non-sporting group as well. So I'm going to start by taking down some of the length. And I'm using my 8-inch straights. This is uh, the Lightning. Uh, this is my signature line from Ken Chi. And I'm going to start by taking the top line down. And depending upon the build of the dog is how you set your length. You can use snap-on combs uh, to save time. Now this dog is kind of on the shorter side and she's a little bit heavy, a little overweight. So I'm gonna bring her back down a bit. But I'm not gonna go too tight to her top line because since she is on the shorter leg side, I wanna give her a little bit of height. So I'm gonna take her belly really tight and leave a little bit of hair on the top line just to give her an overall kind of illusion that she's a little bit taller. Stay. And I'm gonna bring the sides in fairly tight. Shakira, stay. Easy. Now her belly is right here where my finger is. So she's a little low to the ground. I'm gonna take this all the way down. This is her actual skin right here. So on the underside, you can actually go right up to the skin. It's all right. Come here, Shakira. And I'm just gonna debulk her. And I'm taking this almost completely to her sides without exposing the skin. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to, because she has so much hair, I'm going to block her off. And what that means is I'm going to set all the outside lines. So you want to give a really nice angulation in the back here. I'm gonna to go to a little bit of a smaller shear. These are my curves from the five star. And I'm gonna do a reverse curve like this. And what I'm doing is I'm setting in the angulation of the leg. And everything on a Bichon is rounded. There's no real breaks in the profile of the dog. So you go from this rounded head down to the body, round around the foot. Everything is a nice, smooth contour and transition. And depending on the dog structure, you can bring this line, you can slam this in all the way to the rear of the leg. And the tighter you go back here, the more you're gonna accentuate the flare and the hock. Gonna trim these hairs around the tail.
music here. I'm gonna bring down some of this hair on the outside of the leg. Now the bichons are supposed to be a little bit more of a moderate trim. So when you're doing the tuck up, it's not very extreme like in a poodle where you go very high into the tuck up. It's a nice straight line on the underline and the tuck up is very moderate. So you don't want to go too extreme and cut up too high into the tuck up. Round off her foot. And you want to leave some hair back here on the back of the hawk. to give a little more style and flair. And I'm using my curves to bring this line in. I'm gonna go back to my straights. And bring all of this in. Now, because she's a little bit on the heavier side, I'm going to go pretty tight on the body. And bring her width in a little bit tighter so she doesn't look quite as heavy. And I'll go back and I'll smooth everything out after, but right now I just want to set all of my lines. Shakira, stay. Now you can even take a 10 blade and shave the underside of the belly if you have a very heavy set dog, just to bring that line all the way up. I'm doing a straight parallel line down the inside of the leg. I'm gonna use my curves, use them in reverse and come up and continue this angulation into the hock area. I'm gonna round all of this off.
Now I flip my curves over a little bit, just to contour in the waist just a little bit. I don't want to make it too extreme and too overstyled. Now I'm going to take my 10 blade. I am going to shave the underside just to bring that line up as high as I can on this belly. I'm going to do it on a nine. You can see by doing that, when I scissor those hairs right up to it, I've given her a little bit more height. Just gonna clean up these hairs on the leg. Stay. 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 Shakira, stay. I'm just cleaning up this line in the contour here, neatening up the inside of the leg. I want to make sure that I get all of these hairs because I don't want any breaks in this profile of this rear angulation. And there's a little indent over the rear foot, just a slight one. You don't want to come in too far and expose too much of the foot, but just enough to separate the foot and the leg. Shakira.
You can use a scissoring spray, whatever kind you like, just to spray it on the coat and comb it through. It just helps you get a nice smooth finish on the dog. Turn her this way. Gonna get these hairs on the inside of the leg here. I'm gonna turn her towards me so I can start working on the front. Now the front here, you wanna bring really tight into the chest. So you can take your clipper, and again, you wanna bring this right to the throat. So I'm gonna shave a little line. I've got it set on my nine. And I just shaved a small patch on the throat, just so I can use that as my guide. And I'm gonna bring all of this hair in that tight. And you can see when I turn her back, by shaving that and bringing that line in, I've brought her front end in tighter and I've given a division from the neck to the actual jawline and it shortens up the overall length of the dog. So I'm gonna bring this line straight down they don't have a very over-pronounced chest. So you can show a little bit of the chest, but your front leg goes almost right into your chest. And I'm coming around, right around the side of the neck and keeping everything nice and moderate. It's not over contoured. You wanna make sure you get these hairs that come around on the underarm and go right up into your chest. So when you're doing the front feet, it's very important that you leave the hair at the back of this pad very long. Because when Bichons are standing, they should have a cylindrical foot and a nice column all the way up. And you don't want there to be an angle on the back of the front leg. So I'm gonna scissor around the front of my foot. but I'm not trimming any of the hair from the, the back of that pad. And then you can hold the foot out in front of you. Come here, Shakira. And you have to be careful. You don't want to cut too much hair on the front of the front leg because you don't want there to be an indentation over the actual foot. So I'm actually going to trim the hair on the inside of the leg to create a nice column. 
Akira. And on the outside of the leg here. But the front of the leg, I'm gonna do while the dog is standing. So I go straight down to the top, to the front of the toe, rather. And bring that all the way around the side. I'm gonna clean up the outside here. Take a little off the back of the front leg. And you can see I left all this hair on the back of the front foot so that foot comes all the way down to the floor of the table. Just cleaning up some of these little details. You want to make sure that when you're looking at the dog from the front on, that your legs don't bow out on either side. So you want to make sure that it's a parallel line on either leg right up to the shoulder. All right. Now I'm going to move on to the head. Come here, Shakira. Come here. Now, a little trick to make the eyes really pop, because they have a lot of expression on their face, is take a 10 blade, and you want to shave a little pocket, the bottom lid here. So on either eye, I'm just shaving the hair that's on the bottom lid. And you can come right into the stop here and just clean that out. And I'm doing that with a 10 blade. And I'm gonna start, I'm gonna give a nice rounded visor here. And you can take your curves and flip them over and do them in reverse to come in over the eye. And you come to just to the corner of the eye. You don't wanna cut this hair here. I'm going to flip them over and do a reverse curve this way. Stay.
and I'm just going to take off some of this point. And then what you can do to get the head when you've got a lot of length like this is do it in sections. Comb a small section forward. And scissor that. Then take about another inch of hair. Comb that forward. And any of the hairs that hang off past the line you just created, you trim. And then you can take a little bit more. And the same thing, trim the hairs that stick out past that line. And then when you comb that up, you've got this really beautiful, rounded, layered head. Now I'm gonna take my lightning curves, which are a little bit longer than the other curves I was using. These are from, also from my signature line, the eight, eight inch uh, reversible curve. And there's pinky tangs on either side, so you can flip it and do curves in either direction. I'm going to start on the outside, and I'm going to start to take some of this length on the head down. And the, when I was talking about you don't want to cut in too far over here when you do the visor, that's because these long hairs here are what's going to frame the outside of the face. And I'm going to come right like this, and I'm going to create a line under the ear. And I'm gonna pull all of this hair out this way. And I'm gonna use thinning shears. I'm going to my lightning thinning shears. And I'm gonna bring that line down. Just take off those hairs. I don't wanna cut in more than what I just did with the scissor. I just wanna neaten up that line. I'm going to trim the bottom of the, the face. I just want to make sure that this is a nice clean line up against the neck. And you just bring it up into the neck to meet the line that you did. I'm gonna pull all that hair out a little bit more. And then you see these points that stick out. And I'm just gonna take my thinning shears and bring that circle from the top of the head into the jawline. Clean up some of these hairs on the top here. I'm going to use my curves. Pull up all of that hair and 
continue that nice big dome on top of the head. And then I bring that curve right down into the neck. I'm just gonna continue neatening all this up with my thinners. Thinners are very forgiving, so after you've scissored anything, especially on a Bichon, white dogs tend to pick up all the lights, so all the divots in the coat are accentuated. So I just want to show you. We started with a dog that was like this. And with a few snips of the scissor and some thinning shears, you can get a profile that looks like this. And that's how you do the Bichon.